Welcome back, Money Team. This is Mad Money Shot. Sniffing up the Mad Cheese as always. Got another Mutt Tip video for you guys today. Today, I'm going to be going over some Budget Beast, uh, Budget Squad. I know a lot of people are going to be picking up the game either today or maybe on the 20th. And the first couple solos you do can really be a grind if you don't have a solid uh, series of, you know, decent, cheap players, if you're a no money spent player. Myself, personally, I'm not a no money spent player anymore. I don't have time to be grinding solos, doing all that stuff, so I just buy packs. But ultimately, I still know some of the best players to take so that you can beat those early solos so it don't get frustrating for you. So I'm going to go over that. Some of the best cards that you can get on offense and defense in this video. As always, though, if you guys want to see more videos like this, do me a favor, hit the like button, let me know in the comment section. Or if this is the first time you're seeing this video, hook me up with a subscribe. I'd appreciate it if you guys stuck around. Uh, I'm trying to grow this channel as much as possible. So I really appreciate you guys that have been showing me all the love and support uh, since I started doing the face cam videos and stuff like that. I appreciate that as well. So we're going to start off with quarterbacks because if you don't have a quarterback to get the job done, it can derail your entire offense. It's probably one of the more important things. You can get some of these young goal players that can really fit the bill, um, especially if you're just trying to compete online. I mean, I know you don't really want to go into an online game with a gold level quarterback, but a lot of times just speed and throw power is all you need. One of the better combinations for that is definitely Justin Herbert. 86 throw power, 75 speed. He's a second year quarterback. You can get him right here. You can see he's under 4K. Um, so that's not, you know, obviously he's under 3K. So this is something that, you know, you could definitely save up for pretty quickly. I also like Tua, Tonga Valada. Ta Taga Velo, quarterback from Hawaii. He's Tonga Vilo. I know how to say his name. I'm just making fun of his name. But his throw power is an 81. That's not bad. His speed is a 73. You can see the difference, though. I mean, one of the best ones without a doubt would be Justin Herbert. Another good one is Derek Carr. If you want a little bit more accuracy, you can see his accuracy ratings are a lot higher and he's got an 84 throw power. Here's a guy. He's just under red. He's just under elite. So that makes him a really good bargain because once he hits that red, one more point, he probably would have been like 10K or more. Now, when it comes to running backs and most skill position players, speed is all you need. really the most important thing if you run to a solo where you have to do uh you know like a 50 yard run on one play or something like that if you don't have a fast enough running back you're never going to get it done so a player like matt breda would be perfect he's a gold he's a 75 he's an 87 speed with 85 acceleration the only problem is most people are onto that and the cheapest card i could find him was like 8k Damn! So if you want to get somebody who's not much slower, but a lot less in price, one of the best people to go with is TJ Logan. You can see right here, he's clocking in at about 2,500 coins, and he's only one speed point slower at an 86. Obviously, his acceleration is a lot slower, but his top speed is good enough. So he's a guy that can be a weapon for you on, on the cheap. He's only a 71 overall. He's a guy that not a lot of people know about. You also have guys that are 85 speed, like Naheem Hines, who's an 85 acceleration as well. His card's going for under three. K. So you can see for, you know, you can save 5,000 coins or more. This guy's only going for 2,200. You can save a lot of coins by basically going for a much cheaper option who's only like a speed point or two slower than maybe the top guy. Now, when it comes to wide receiver, there's a lot of cheap speed out there. The very first card I see, KJ Hamler, right out the gate one of the better ones. He's one of the cheapest ones here. He's the cheapest one on the screen. He's got an A7 speed. That's going to be something that, you know, you want to look for that or higher. A7 speed, totally worth it for that 1200 um, I'm actually surprised to see him so cheap. There's a lot of receivers that you can find that, you know, might be a little bit higher rate. They might cost a little bit more, uh, but may, it's up to you whether you think they were, they're worth it or not. I mean, there's a lot of speed receivers. McCall Harvin's a really good one. If he's going for like 4K though, not 100% sure he's worth that, but he's another 87 speed guy. John Ross, of course, is an old classic. He's an 88 speed player um, who in all reality, uh, he's always been a cheat code, but he's been forgotten by the NFL. A lot of fans forget that this guy, I think he broke the 40 record at the combine. Uh, with a 4-2-2. As far as tight ends go, the cost might be a little bit more to find tight ends with speed. There's not as many out there. Uh, one of the best ones though, OJ Howard, typically one of the fastest tight ends in the league. I think he ran like a 4-4 coming out. He's an 82 speed and you get him for less than 5K. On the defensive side, for some uh, you know defensive ends, Max Crosby's a good one. Speed's really the most important thing. Once again, he's a 76 speed, A2 acceleration. So he should do a pretty good job of getting after quarterbacks. Another option who's a little bit faster and a little bit more expensive is D Ford. Once again, cards that are just below 80s are typically very good values. You can see he's clocking a 77 speed with 81 acceleration. Also, Frank Clark. 
76 speed A3 acceleration, although he's one of the more expensive ones, is also a right end um, compared to a left end. But all these cars, once again, they're going to be better than trying to spend, you know, on average, a red card at this point is going for like 10K. Son Reddick's another good one. I didn't even know he was listed as a defensive end, but anybody that's basically listed as a speed rusher is going to be good. This guy's clocking at an insane 81 speed, though. He's probably the best one out of all of them, and I almost passed right over him. So without a doubt, Hassan Reddick, probably worth, I think I saw he was around 4K, he's probably worth that. As far as some good user middle linebackers, uh, you could go with a guy like Jared Davis who's an 80 speed, but I think a little bit better value and not much more as far as price. You really want speed once again. It's all about speed. Blake Cashman, cha-ching, with an 83 speed and 84 acceleration. People don't typically use their linebackers, but if you want some fast linebackers and go sideline to sideline, he's probably going to be one of the best ones. Another good one, although he's a lot more expensive, is Patrick Queen. Uh, he's one of the fastest linebackers in the game every year. 83 speed, 83 84 acceleration pretty much the same obviously he's a slightly better player but i think i'd rather roll with blake cashman for the much cheaper price now when it comes to cornerbacks I, that's one of the few positions where i can't say you can just go out and get somebody fast because if they have horrible zones and are horrible man coverages it's going to cost you so ultimately i think one of the better ones is jamal dean the cheapest i see him is around 4k you may be able to get him for a little bit less but he's going to have a good combination of speed at, at six foot one 86 speed 72 man 71 zone that's probably one of the better values as far as cornerbacks go to start off your team i don't think i don't think sean murphy bunting's too bad either 85 speed 85 acceleration 70 man 67 zone he's another good option both of the young cornerbacks that played for um you know played i mean carl davis he's another one so all these guys are like 78 79s speed leaves a little something to be desired here but 74 man 73 zone these are all very respectable that should be able to i mean out of anything i'd probably have carl davis maybe as a slot cornerback because he isn't too fast but he he has high zones and high man so that stuff's important so all three of these guys are some of the better steals when it comes to uh, value at corner when it comes to safeties safeties typically are going to be playing in mostly zones so i'm not too concerned about their man coverage abilities um, but this is something where once again you're going to want some recovery speed because once the ball's in the air you're going to want to be able to catch up to it and try to make some plays on it two of the better players that i see uh juan thornhill is a good option He's, I think, an 84 speed, yeah, 84 speed, 84 acceleration, 70 zone. I'm trying to hit that 70 zone, to say the least. He matches that. I think the best one, though, is a little bit more pricey. Uh, and that would probably be, I mean, it's one for you can get for around 3K. If you want to get a little bit better, Darnell Savage, under 5K, um, is, is going to be much better as far as speed. 86 speed, 85 excel in a 71 zone. Not sure if it's worth that extra coin to you, but he's, these are definitely two of the best safeties that you can get on a budget. And then for strong safeties, I think that's even more of a rare combination combination to find speed and high zone because a lot of times these guys are like box safeties like Landon Collins um, you know Terrell Edmonds isn't bad he's a good one he's one of the cheaper ones um, he's probably not over the the threshold though 84 speed I will take that but he's only 69 zone I'm looking for 70 zone or higher that's still one of the better cards especially for the price for that price I probably would go with him over some of the other guys I'm going to mention like Jabril Peppers who um, I mean it's a little bit more it's not much more you can see you get a 79 overall player 84 speed 86 excel and a 70 zone coverage it's also got a much higher man so if you do a lot of man blitzing a 73 man is a very good uh, very good man uh, ability at this point and I think the last guy that I would say would be a good option would be Jaquiski Tart who um, once again he has a very he's not as fast a3 speed a5 excel but he's got a 73 zone which is one of the higher ones so that's definitely going to be a, a good cheap option to round out your secondary I'm going to go ahead and end the video there if you guys want to see more videos like this do me a favor hit the like button let me know in the comment section other than that thanks for watching man my shit out need more help or just want to show your support then head over to my patreon and join my team where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays as well as early access to my bits and more link in the description below Thank you.